drinking. You'll hear the angle. I'm Vincent. Rachel. She's a cop. He doesn't know who she is yet. What? She's just at the bar. Well, I figure you're undercover. Yeah. Either married and lonely, or you're not married and lonely. Either way, you're much too beautiful to be the, uh, lonely. This, in real life, I mean, is Sean Pan's best too. friend. Okay. Here's what I propose. We do our business. When that's done, there's I Nick. I'll tell you what, Vincent, right? I'm going to come back here tonight. And if you're here, then I'll know that I'm not just some passing fancy. Well, I thought you were meeting someone. Don't pry. You might seem too eager. Mr. Real Yes, I am. You'll see me in a second here again. Right. I guess the part there. There you are. Did you get the Nick. Let's rewind and we'll get that again. Oh, okay. Just hit a quick rewind. There we go. Right? I'm going to come back here tonight. And if you're here, then I'll know that I'm not just some passing fancy. Well, I thought you were meeting someone. Don't pry. You might seem too eager. Mr. Real Yes, I am. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hey. Oh, I got it. You got it? Oh, I see it right there. Here's yeah. funny. See the guy in the back? Sure. He plays thug number one. That guy used to be, as, as luck would have it, he went to high school with Crash Holly. Oh my goodness. He lives in Pacific. His name is Phil. He plays thug, thug number one. I'm thug number two. Okay. And he went to high school. He said that Crash used to come to school and wear a mask and dive off the walls and stuff. <laughs> All sorts <laughs> of crazy stuff. Have a seat. Oh, that's the mob boss. This is Nash's dad. Right. Hey, okay. Like Jim Gannon. Yeah. One. There's no man anywhere, any time. He was in that movie. Who uh, worshipped the ground his mother walked on more than I do. All right. Okay. All right. Two. I was very nice to you yesterday because I didn't want my mother to think that I was anything other than supportive of her life choices. Okay. Okay. My mother tells me that you are a uh, retired shipping boat. What's the real deal? I think I'll stick with retired shipping mogul. Have you ever been married? Once. So Divorced? Back. Show me Whatever. a minute. He leaves. Okay. Have you ever been to jail? Once. <clears throat> in Papiti and once in Marseille. Yeah. What for? Fighting and public drunkenness. Are, are we about through? Good. Let me tell you how it is with your mother, Sonny. So he don't know he's a big mob boss. He's straight as an arrow. This guy's a good she actor, likes men, Especially me, in, in case you were wondering. Now, here's the way it is. We're going to get married if and when we feel like it. Not in some cathedral, either. A good shot of me. I'm coming right we're up this. too old to have our lives run by some blow-dry, pipsqueak like you. I don't know how you're going to be as a son-in-law, but up to now, you've been a royal pain in the ass. My advice, butt out. There you go. All right. Now that scene uh, there, they cut that scene out. Okay. He comes up like he like he just did. Yeah. And Vincent goes. The other guy turns around, comes to me, and he hits me on the chest on the way back, and we fall. I shuffle in behind him. Yeah. And we go get him. Now, uh, here's the next scene here. This guy gets this guy gets murdered by some other guy. And they're on the phone investigating. Now here's where we kidnap him. Your death certificate from the park. Yeah. Well, we gonna have little memorials. Where is this? What part of the city? That's a uh, little Chinese park there where they all feed the pigeons there, right by the Holiday Inn. Oh, sure. Yeah. Right near uh, North Beach. Sure. I was, absolutely. It's uh, right off. Uh, uh, you know where it's at. Oh yeah. So you'll recognize it. Guys, fill a dead guy full of lead just to make sure. Hey, there wasn't a horse's head in your bed this morning, was there? <laughs> well, I think maybe the fact that These I still guys really nice. might have saved my life. That's right, Nick. That's very right. sure. Yeah, he's probably not used to people we, telling him. Uh, Cut up the stairs there. We can't have this. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Mr. Crash. 
across his scene? Oh, sorry, I've got another meeting that I've got to attend. Uh, well, you can tell them you can't help this one. Oh, oh, sick. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's better, Lord. Hey, you guys, leave me alone. Hey, Oh, notice the notice the heel scowl. Oh, oh yeah, let's absolutely. Go back. Let's see that heel rewind, scowl. Rewind, rewind. <laughs> heel scowl. Really? Arr. <laughs> Army. Hey, you guys, leave me alone. Look at that. Arr. Look at that attitude. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> now, now here, I was supposed to wait for him to get in the limo and shut the door, but you know, like sometimes we do, we rush the spot. <laughs> How many takes? Uh, we did each shot about seven, eight times. Okay. Hello? That cannot be seen. We did probably ten. Okay. Well, this chick is, uh, that's his ex-wife. She's calling him. He's in a big calling him. Okay. Okay. Good. I think it looks... I didn't meet her, really, but... My last scene. This is on Treasure Island. Okay. Is this it? Shut up. Nick, you're a liar, probably a con man. You aren't good enough to leave my mother's postage stamps. But she's crazy about you. Heel scowl. And cut. <laughs> Wait, there it is. Heel scowl. Arr! <laughs> You're dead. I'll take you. What a piss at. You didn't even fight for her. Dirty look as I walk away. Last scowl. Eh, you nothing. So February 20th, yeah. 2001, it's about 3.30 yes. in the afternoon, and we are here with Gigolo Steve Rosano, poolside. Yes. Steve, what's been happening lately? Not that much. Uh, got a, this Friday night, got a three-way dance, me and Vic. Grimes. Vic Grimes and uh, Joe Applebaum. Pogo the Clown. Hey, uh, also known as uh, Pogo the Clown. He will be working as Pogo. Working, no, he'll be working as Joe Applebaum. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, this is Friday, of course, in Sacramento, an indie Apple. show. Yeah, indie, indie show. show. That's HWA, right. Hardcore Wrestling Association. Okay. And uh, who else is going to come? Kurtz guys are going to be there. Shane okay. Cody, Jason Styles, and uh, I don't know who else. Mostly some some kids that part of Marco trained a couple of years ago. Right. And, uh, okay. And Saturday night, XPW. Sucks though because we're the we're the headline, we're the main event. That's great and everything, but we have to be in LA. So we're going to do the show, <laughs> hop in the shower, and drive to L.A. on the same night. Okay. Which is pretty fun. And Ron Head's coming. Right. Ron's announcing. Uh, Friday trying night. To hook, I'm trying to get him a tryout with the XPW. And uh, they're going to... He's gonna, at least going to meet some people. He'll right. Meet Kevin. He'll meet Rob. Right. Meet Sean, uh, this guy, new guy, Sean, who's helping them in the office. Ron informs me that he sent a promotional tape in the mail yesterday to XPW. Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay, good, because I yeah. talked to Sean today, and he goes, well, he's going to give me a tape. I said, as well, i will just hand deliver it to you. But I guess he's going to... Good, 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 It'll good. show up tomorrow or Thursday. So right yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. So we're talking about extreme professional wrestling in Los Angeles, February 24th, 2001. 23rd. Oh, yeah, 24th, yeah, Saturday. So let's talk about death Saturday night. Deathmatch tournament. Ooh, deathmatch tournament. They have given me my choice of what match I want. I have chosen the bed of nails, bed of bob wire, and thumbtacks. Now this is probably going to change, but I don't know. Because the main event always has thumbtacks and glass. And everybody, the people who advance have to work two, three times. And uh, I'm working Joe. Joe's going to gaff. I'm going to gaff. It's going to be a big bloody mess. He's going to completely just destroy me. And I guess Supreme does He does run. that all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh. The finish is something real big, and uh, okay. it'll be good. We'll talk about that next week. I understand you've been working with uh, the Nash Bridges crew in San Francisco yes. recently. Talk about I that. Played in Thug Number Two. 
and uh, basically the storyline is I work for a guy named Vincent Vincent Corelli, who's a big mob boss in Philadelphia, and uh, and uh, it's funny because Rob Black's from Philadelphia. Isn't that weird? That's weird. Wow. Um, <laughs> so we fly out to see, and the storyline is we fly out to San Francisco to meet the. His mother's new boyfriend, which is played by Jim Gammon, Nick, who plays Nick, who plays Nash's dad, and they're they're faking her. Nash's dad and Vincent Vincent Corelli's mom. His mom is gay. And he, she doesn't want him to know that. So they fake a relationship because they're old friends. That's the storyline, and I'm one of his bodyguards, one of his thugs, and uh, he gets in his face. So we kidnap him and hold him and then he thinks we're about to whack him and throw him in the water in Treasure Island and then we pay him 10 grand and let him go and I'm just uh, I'm in three scenes three big scenes close up shots pretty good yeah my agent called last week she said I looked great she said she couldn't believe how much time they gave me on TV she said she's never seen anybody get that much time so I got over I guess with the director so they asked me to I gotta eat I gotta email my resume to the it's called it's called San Francisco Gateway Company who's in charge of SAG mm -hmm. Screen Actors Guild yeah so I got my SAG card now okay to officially get my SAG card I gotta pay twelve hundred dollars okay how does the uh, impending possibility of a strike affect you and affect uh, your uh, you know if I was doing it for a living and I depending on it for I don't know I haven't really you know I just want to work you know yeah I just want to. I just want to work. So, okay. you know, whatever. Okay. If that means I can get extra work, and so be it. I mean, okay. I did. I if Damian Steele hadn't left XPW, I wouldn't have got a spot. He left, and I okay. took his heel spot. Oh, okay. So. Okay. That was good. What is happening with XPW in general? What's the latest news? Um, they're bringing in. They we're bringing in Justin Credible, but he signed with WWF. They brought in New Jack. Uh, two shows ago, and uh, no, yeah, they brought in two shows ago, and then on the last show, Vic Grimes made his debut. Came up to a hole in the ring, started whooping on New Jack's good angle, good angle. I'm gonna try to get some footage so, okay. on this next trip. And uh, what else? They might bring in Sandman. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, it was a rumor. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but uh, it's mostly XPW guys on this card in the tournament. It's, uh, Dudley, Big Dick Dudley's not going to be there. And Sabu's not going to be there. Sabu's booked in Japan. Dudley has another booking on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Maybe Japan, I don't know. So, we'll see what happens. I have Pogo. So are you prepared for the weekend? Do you have enough hydrogen peroxide and band-aids? And... <laughs> yes, I do. I have all the above. Okay. You would take care of that good after the match. Yeah. Take a good shower, I, I, clean yeah. up, clean yeah. up. The last, yeah. three, the last three shows we've did there, though, the showers don't work. So I have to wait till I get back to the hotel room to shower. Okay. But uh, so we'll be see. sure to clean those wounds real well. You don't want any infections, any problems, you know. No, we yeah. don't want that. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yes. <laughs> um, what else? Just waiting for the big audition to come next. Double shot this weekend, long drive. <laughs> yeah. At least you got Ron Head with you. Got Ron. He'll keep you entertained. Captain of entertainment. <laughs> CEO of, of Road <laughs> Entertainment, I think yeah. Ron is. Oh, Ron's great. Ron yeah. is great. And I hope he... Well, I'm, I'm excited for him. I think this is really great, and I hope things I hope work they, out because, they, you know. Pay attention to him down there. Yeah. Because apparently Larry Rivera, they're very happy with him and Chris Kloss. I guy, personally think that Chris Kloss and, and Ron Head would make a good dancing team. Larry's very good, but apparently he's not coming into the office. He only comes in like once a week. Okay. And they need him in there like three, four times a week. Okay. So. Yeah. I like those guys. They're both very good. Very and happy. Ron would fit in... Well, Ron Great. was telling me he worked with Larry Rivera back in the Incredibly Strange he did. days. He did. Re he reminded me of that, and I went, "That's okay, that's the guy. I've got, I, uh, I've got I that no on tape. I have no notion of this guy. Yeah, that was 1995. Was it really? Yeah, that was probably summer of 95. I remember he was, when he reminded me, I went, oh, that guy, sure, yeah. So he's been around the business Yeah, he has been a while. Years. Yeah, I've been around, yeah. So, 
That's so what you might know him that. Well, I never met him. I just remembered him jumping up on the mic and uh, commentating, you know. Was he doing the Cuban gimmick? He was. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. Cool. For editing purposes, 543. So Steve Rosano, this weekend. Yes. Big weekend. Deathmatch tournament. Double deathmatch, Friday and Saturday night. Yeah. How are you going to make it through the weekend, Steve? Pharmaceutical help, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's only telling the truth, folks. Really? <laughs> no, there's no there's no pharmaceutical drugs in the locker room, really. Uh, new Jack in there, no. But the, the thing is, you got you got Joe Applebaumer back to back. And that, Vic Grimes in one night. And that's brutal. That is just... Well, here's the catch. The ring on Friday night is a re enhanced boxing ring oh great so it's a tad stiff yeah. it has a little bit of give yeah but not a lot not much yeah we train the kids in that ring yeah. so i'm used to it joe's yeah. used to it yeah and uh our kids are making their debut okay ryan and, and nick so nick the dick and ryan he named him <laughs> joe <laughs> joe named him ryan uh what was his name ryan uh spike what was his oh, name? it was Spike Ryan Donovan. Spike Donovan. Spike Donovan Alexander. Right. Yeah, I've seen Ryan. He's good. Yeah, the kid. I've seen him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's good. I saw him a couple years ago. He is. No, uh, no, he just started training this kid. Oh, I six know, but ago. I know, but I saw this kid about a year, actually a oh, year and a half ago in his backyard with, uh, with with the other backyard kids. Yeah. And they're yeah. Uh, yeah well, they we got a lot of stuff them. together. Oh, I'm sure we you have. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Got him high flying, got him yeah. doing headlock takedowns, got yeah. him doing body cross and everything. And all the basics. Taking bumps on the top yeah. rope. Oh boy. He's good. <laughs> He's good. Really and uh, any word uh, is, uh, is is rapist John Pierce going to be refereeing? That's the big That's the big question. I don't know. know. Okay. Uh, I, I have no idea. Okay. I have no, no booking on that. Okay. But, but I think Ron's going to announce. Yeah. We're the main event. Uh, we're gonna stay out of the ring a little bit because that ring's too too stiff. <laughs> yeah, just, if it was just one show, we'll just dude, we'd bump on the ring. I don't yeah, care. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I really don't care either way. I'll bump on the ring. I'm yeah. used to it. You know me. I don't care about yeah. bumping. So I'll bump anywhere. Yeah. I will bump over here or bump over there. I will bump damn near anywhere. <laughs> a la cactus jack. Oh. Uh, so. Well, anyway, good luck, Steve Rosano. We'll we'll catch up with you next week and get a full report on the weekend activities. Any okay. final words to the fans? Clean now. My head is clean now. Next week, Swiss cheese. <laughs> February 27, 2001, 3.35 p.m. On the way to see Gigolo. Steve Rosano. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Thumbtacks. Thumbtacks. Remnants. Oh boy. We're live here with Gigolo Steve Rosano, February 27th, 2001. It's about 3.45 in the afternoon here outside Steve's... Estate. Estate. <laughs> and Steve, you've had a very interesting weekend. Yes, I have. It was, uh, it's what, two, three days after my bloody Valentine. XPW February 24, 2001, yeah. Los Angeles. The lot I gave. I'm sure it'll be in magazines or whatever. I had full, just coming all the way down my chest. It's full crimson. Best I've ever, best color I've ever got. As uh, Cactus would say, I had a gleam in my eye that day. And I just said, well, here it is, Deathmatch 2001. That's my first one. Let's make it memorable. So I wrestled a death match, bob wire and thumbtacks in just nothing but trunks. No shirt, no pants, like a lot of guys wear. I'm the first one that's ever done it and everyone's freaking out about it. And I uh, paid the consequences and we busted up. I'll be all right in a couple of days. Tell us about the match. It was a short match, four minutes. I don't know, four minutes was just a jump. It, we, it was me and Joe out there for about four or five minutes. <clears throat> I downed him with a couple of clotheslines, and he stood there, you know. We had a whole tray, a tray of uh, thumbtacks on one side, and a big giant tray of ball wire on the other, which is wrapped around in bushings, you know. Supreme does the run in, and 
because I hit I hit Joe a couple times. He docked third one, and uh, he, uh, he ducked the third one. He he clotheslined me just out of my boots. The crowd went nuts, and then uh, <laughs> he throws me in, and hits me with the shovel. One of the shovels wrapped in bob wire. Throws me in the ropes, hits me, like, clank like that, boom, run down, zip, zip, you know, as you can see. Just started flowing like Niagara Falls. And then, uh, then, uh, then, uh, uh, at one point I took back over on him with a high knee, the one that Hunter Hurst does. Just did mm -hmm. it. And man, so I took a great bump for it. Bam, everyone went nuts. I start nailing him with chairs, just bam, bam. I hit him with like five chair shots in the head. Bam, 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 steal. Supreme runs in. We do the whole, you see, the angle of this is that I go to GFY, go funk yourself. Me and Tracy Smothers and, and Cronus had picked him up in a body press, thrown him over the top rope, and Messiah caught him with the God smack, and they went through a giant cage of barbed wire which was thumbtacks and bob wire underneath that. And underneath that, it was a table filled with uh, light bulbs and, and halogen bulbs and all that stuff. So we went through all that. And there's just blood everywhere, you know, hauled out in the ambulance, the whole thing. And uh, so I said, I'm sorry, it was business. You know, Rob made me. And he goes to shake my hand, just clocks me, just stiff too. Nice. Huh. And uh, they throw me in, they give me, uh, he throws me in, drops down, and Joe gives him a big clothesline, and then they gave me a double elbow. They back me in the corner, gave me an Irish whip, and I take a flying schoolboy into the hall, giant bed of bob wire, standing on the turnbuckle. I went through that, and it's like stuck like this. Joe runs, gives me a big splash. I'm even deeper now. He takes Supreme, Supreme whips in, uh, gives me another splash, boom. Now this thing, I, by this point, I don't, I black out. I don't remember what happened, but supposedly the, the whole thing just collapsed and fell. And as the bob wire fell, it was like a Venus flytrap, sort of like that, just all around the back, the face, right here. So uh, they're beating on me. Now Joe takes a shovel and hits me in the head. It gets caught in my hair, and as he pulls it out, it rips a big chunk of hair out. The crowd just goes nuts. So they're trying to pull me out of the bob wire. And it's coming off my skin like this. Like this. And it's, it looks like looks like a toxic Avenger stretcho man a doll used to have. We used to stretch oh, the arm. Was, yeah. Bob Wire was sticking oh, to my skin man. like that. People were just popping like a little pop of God. And apparently, they did do drop, two drop kicks to me while I was on my knees. And I went back in the Bob Wire. Back in the Bob Wire. And then Joe hit the ropes and did a beal on top of me which knocked me out again for just a minute. I don't remember. Next thing I know, Supreme throws me into the ropes. I'm just, at this point, I'm just crimson. Blood's just coming everywhere. He throws me in the ropes, lifts me up for a spine buster into the tray of thumbtacks with no shirt. Joe hits the ropes, comes off with a big splash on top of, on top of the tacks. Now they're trying to drag the tray into the corner and the whole thing's moving like this. And, and, it thought, and it's just like the tax are going like this. Cross my back, I'm like, ah, fucking go home, go home, go home. Spring goes, no, 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 we gotta do it. I said, go home, go home, go home. No, 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 one more. <laughs> Take the ball wire, put it on top of me, which I'm glad he did. Yeah. Not the second, man, it was so much, it was the worst pain. You've seen the pain I felt. Oh, yeah, that's saying a lot. Yeah. Oh, jeez. So he takes the ball wire, puts it on top of me. Tells Joe to get the other bob wire. As Joe goes out, Supreme, it's a flying tackle through the ropes. Joe flies off the apron into the other table of bob wire. And outside. Supreme takes the table, the other table bob wire, puts it on top of me, does a moonsault on top of that. One, two, three. And then they take, it takes like five, four or five minutes to roll me out of the tax. I'm, I'm like this, I'm shaking. My eyes are rolling in the back of my head like this. Like this, it's just bloods everywhere. And I collapse on the floor, but they catch me. They pick me up. I got a guy under this leg, and a guy under this leg, and this arm, this arm. Somebody's under my back holding me. And they carry me out. The entire 2,000 people give me a standing ovation. <laughs> Total standing ovation as I walk out. I'm like this. 
just bleeding everywhere like that. Get to the back room, all the boys are just giving me standing ovations. Well, I had to do it once, so, you know, what the hell. So what happens? You hit the back room, you get some medical attention oh, right away. Just, yeah, no, actually, more cameras than anything. Okay. All the cameras matter. Yeah, okay. For every magazine, I don't know what. Was Japan there? I don't know. Japanese guy? I don't, okay. I don't, I don't know, I was just like, <laughs> out of it. Okay. But the, the cameraman, his name is Tony T. He was there, and uh, he was just on me the whole time. Yeah. So they're going to put that on the internet, magazine, whatever. So, so the office was like, he was the first guy to do it without a shirt, without pants. You know, we're going to put that all over the internet. We'll see what happens. My 20 minutes of fame. But... So what? Uh, where do you go from here? Uh, you I go some... back. They they want me to come back this Friday. I got a uh, promos for TV down there. Okay. Skits. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you know, pot coffee is a painkiller. Hmm. So this is a lot of coffee today. Okay. <laughs> trying to stay away from the Vikings and whatnot. I have them, but it, during the week I try to focus, work out. Okay. Uh. Does this set up a feud between you and uh, Pogo the Clown and uh, various other people who joined in? <laughs> yeah, there's supposedly later on there's going to be a three-way dance. Okay. Between me, Supreme, and Pogo, but now that's been changed because Supreme... See, the whole night was the, was the storyline was around Rob Black's army facing each other, so no matter what, okay. Rob Black's army was going to win that trophy and sure. Vic Grimes won the whole thing. Okay. At the very, very end, you'll see the tape later on. Very, very end. It's Vic Grimes against Supreme against Messiah, and they hit the ropes a couple times. There's one without barbed wire, one with barbed wire, and then there's no ropes. It's open platform. So they do a couple of spots without wrestling each other, you know, and they come face to face. And just before they hit each other, they have chairs and whatever. So Messiah stops and goes like this, does the Holy Cross, and goes bink like that. Touches his head, and Pogo goes, I know, Vic goes, bam, takes an ST plunge, and he covers them one, two, three. Or no, uh, or, uh, Vic covers uh, Supreme or whatever, okay. something like that. Yeah. Or uh, a Messiah, so okay. it was good, it was a funny angle. <laughs> sort of like the Kevin Nash Hulk Hogan thing when he, <laughs> yeah. when he touched his chest yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. that shoot. So, yeah, it was a good night, it was a good night. New Jack is there. And, No problems with Vic and New Jack? No, no? not at all. Okay. They didn't even work the program. Mm -hmm. they were, he, uh, New Jack worked uh, Mr. 80, he's talking about D, and oh, he, came out as Mr. T he came out as Ted DiBiase, the million dollar man. That's hysterical. He had the suit on and the dollar sign, and the <laughs> golden million dollar belt, but it was cardboard. You know, it was really, really funny, yeah. really funny. Everybody's got a price for that million dollar man. <laughs> and he had the laugh down pretty good, too. It was funny, it was a good night. All right. Everyone was freaking out. Said, wow, man, that was so awesome. This and that. And One of the guys that runs, helps run the company, Dave, he comes back. And, you know, all those guys, they just, they're connected in some way. You know, connected. And he's like, he comes back, he's got a cigarette in his hand, he's got all this jewelry, you know, $40,000 Rolex, diamonds in it. He goes, You are the fucking Mama Duke. You are the Mama Luke. You were the moment, it was funny. So it was a good night. Fame wise, uh, see what happens, see where it goes. Uh, log on to xpwrestling.com. Gee, I wonder if you're going to get a call from FMW in Japan after this. <laughs> Probably. Well, no, Sabu, Sabu told, told me that it was because you're too pretty for Japan. I said, okay. He goes, Not you anymore. And, <laughs> you, and, you and Masai are too pretty. You see, Japan's all about gimmicks. It's all about monsters and robots. So, Pogo the Clown, Supreme, you know, uh, Sabu, Scarred Freak, whatever. You know, it's all about freaky guys and monsters. And, you know, whatever. So, that's about it. And Onita, of course, yeah. he's the inventor of the Bob Wire match. So. so, let's talk about Ron Head working the show. Ron was awesome. He waited around for like the first couple
couple angles. There was like a couple angles in one match. And then the second or third match, Kevin says, we'll try out for two matches. So Ron goes out there for two matches and announced every match on the card for the rest of the night. They loved him. Including yours. Got over strong. Yeah, including yours. Uh -huh. Got over real strong. Got over good with the crowd. Got over pretty good with the crowd. Uh -huh. uh, he went by the script. You know, they had the paper for him. Okay. He went by the script. Okay. At the very end of the night, he improvised. He says, well, holy shit. And they popped. They popped. He goes, let's hear it for these guys. You will never see guys put their bodies on the line in an independent anywhere in the country or the world like you did tonight. Yeah, they all popped. Yeah. He did a good job. He's got a job. Great. He liked it. They paid a little bit, too. Fantastic. So, this was good. He was good. Is he going to be... He, so he'll be going down to the next show, or...? Yeah. Yeah. He, he won't come down for promos this weekend. So... The next show is when? Uh, March 17th. Okay. Birmingham Life School. It's, uh... I don't even know the name of it. Okay. I'll find out. So how you feeling right now? I feel like shit. <laughs> I feel horrible. Yeah. I feel awful. How does the pain differ today from, say, Sunday? It's more of like when you get the flu, mm -hmm. your body just aches. You know, I lost a lot of blood. I don't do that. So. A little headachey, dizzy and weak. Mm -hmm. No appetite. Kind of sick. Yeah. So, I took yesterday off. I didn't do nothing yesterday. I haven't done nothing today. I'm going to try to go to the gym tonight. So I feel the light. Now I understand you went to the hospital. Yeah, I went to the hospital. Sunday? Uh, Sunday night. Okay. 12.30. What did you tell the folks at the hospital? <laughs> told them, I just told them. I told them. They know my record. I told them uh, the wrestler. There was an accident with Bob Wire and Thumbtacks. I said it was a stunt that went wrong. Is what I said. You know. And, uh, What'd they say? Well, one of the nurses has. They always have a comment like that's stupid, or but they can't tell you that you're stupid because you get sued. Yeah. They said anybody that's stupid enough to do that. I said that's right. Anybody that's stupid enough to do that now, look at me. <laughs> so they checked me out. My tetanus is current. They didn't give, they didn't give me a tetanus shot. Sent me home with some antibiotics and some, and some medication and whatnot. So. This is uh, Mills Hospital in San Mateo? No, no, no Kaiser in Redwood Kaiser City. Kaiser in Redwood City, okay. yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so sent me on my way. And, all right, I've been rubbing in uh, aloe vera the last three days. So. Okay. Pretty good. I got one here in the face a little bit. I can't really see it's fading right here. That's, yeah. yeah. This is a hole. This would not stop bleeding. And you can't put a band aid there. Yeah, yeah. So I almost had to put super glue on it. Get a piece of it right through. Uh, that. That's the name of the game. Yeah. It was my hardcore stupidity for the year, I think. I still gonna take crazy bumps, but. Maybe not through Bob Wire with no clothes. Well, you want to say these, these are special moments, you know. These are special moments. <laughs> I'll probably do it again next year, you know. But next year. Yeah. Well, there you have it, fans. Direct from Jigalope.